Hello friends, today's video is for eggplant lovers. I'm making baigani, a West Indian appetizer or snack made with raw eggplant that's dipped in a savory batter made with split peas and simple seasonings. It's absolutely delicious and comes together in less than 15 minutes. So in the time it will take you to watch this video, you could be enjoying some hot, crispy baigani with mango or tamarind chutney. Baigani, like the kachori I shared recently, the doubles, the polori, and the alu pie, they're all popular street food in Trinidad. For this recipe, you'll need one young eggplant, also known as baigan or melon gene or aubergine. And I use the word eggplant and baigan interchangeably, so excuse me if I do so in the video. Choosing the right eggplant is important for best results and when I choose eggplant I choose one that is light versus heavy. Light means it has less seeds and the eggplant should be firm but not hard. The skin should be bright, smooth and glossy and the stem or the calyx should be green and not moldy to indicate freshness and choose a small to medium eggplant to avoid bitterness. I rinsed the eggplant, pat it dry and now I'm cutting it into rounds about a quarter inch round pieces and now we'll start to make the batter. First thing I'll do is a small bowl. I'll add one cup of the ground split peas, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, salt, baking powder and ground turmeric. The link to the full recipe is below. It's the same seasoning as the kachori recipe. Now I'll mix to combine. I'll gradually add water and stir until everything's well incorporated. I have about a cup of water here. Stir in a whisking motion to break up any lumps. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too runny. Somewhere in between. Thick enough so that when you dip the eggplant in the batter, it will uh, hold on to the eggplant. And give it a nice coating. And that's it, that's good. I also find that salting the eggplant gives it a little extra boost of flavor. So I'm just going to mix in some salt. If you let this sit for too long, the salt will extract the liquid from the eggplant. I don't want that, I don't want it to be too soggy. It will cook and soften during the frying process. So now we'll get ready to fry. I have about two cups of vegetable oil in this frying pan over medium heat. And once it comes to temperature, we'll start adding the uh, coated eggplant. You'll also need a paper lined bowl to place the baigany in. I'm gonna do a test just to see if the oil is hot enough. Once it becomes brown, we know it's ready and we'll start the frying process. The oil appears to be hot enough, so I'm going to dip and drop. Very simple. Dip and drop. And once the bottom is brown, we'll flip. And once it's uh, fully cooked and at your desired color, I don't want it too dark, I'm going to take it out and drain it. And then we'll place it in the bowl. I'm going to lower the heat just a little. You can place more in the pot, but because I'm filming for YouTube and Instagram at the same time, I need to manage this very carefully so it doesn't burn. You don't want the heat too high because you want the eggplant to cook as well. To 
fully cook. I don't like raw eggplant. I don't know about you. So I'm going to remove this and repeat. Reduce the heat to low. Dip very quickly and place in gently. Make sure you coat it well. You can do three or four at a time. Rinse your hands. And I like rinsing my hands in between batches, but make sure you dry your hands properly because if any of that liquid falls into the pot, you're finished. That's a lovely golden brown. Let it cook a little more. The heat is on low. It's still bubbling vigorously, which means that the heat is at the right temperature. And you want to turn it, flip it gently because you don't want to uh, remove the coating from the um, eggplant. I'm already starting to snack. It's irresistible. Mmm. No chutney yet. So good. So yummy. And it's also very crunchy. So time to remove it from the pot. Just drain. lovely and brown, brown and lovely. I'm just shaking out the excess oil and that's it. I'm going to repeat with the remaining dough and eggplant. Dip on both sides. If it's giving you problems with sticking, just keep dipping, dip, dip, dip until you have enough coating and then we'll put it in the pot. Next, the eggplant is already softening because of the salt so I want to move quickly. I don't want it to get too soft. Last piece. I've raised the heat to medium low because it was taking quite some time to get brown. While that's frying, I'm getting a head start on the dipping process. I love saving time and being efficient whenever I can. So that should be easy. And if you have leftover batter, you can fry it. I just have a little question. So I'll make myself a few calori. And that's it. Snacking again with this little piece here. She's just calling my name. She says, Ria, Ria, eat me. And then that's it. He's going to be eaten right now. So crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy.
And that's all there is to Baigani, my sweet fellow foodie friends. It's budget friendly, it comes together quickly, simple ingredients and a yummy delicious. If you learned something new or you enjoyed this video, please like, share and comment. And please subscribe if you wish to see more. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share and love. Bye bye.